So to select a group of elements, we can use the select all method. And what you do is you give it as a string the type of HTML element you want to select. And then it returns as an array the nodes of all the elements that match the type in the document. So in this example, it would select all the anchor or hyperlink elements and then return it as an array and assigns this to the variable anchors. So for example, in this document, we have two paragraphs and if we want to select both of them, we can just do d3.selectAll and give it the type p for paragraph as a string. And then we can set this to a variable like so. And now what we can do is we can use this variable with the dot operator to call methods on every item of this type. So for example, we can use text to change the text of all the paragraphs like so. So now we'll look at the task. So what it wants us to do is select all the list item in the document. So all of these examples and change their text to list item with the text method. So the first thing to do is to select all the list items. So we would just do d3.select all and give it the type of list item. So now we have an array of all of these list item elements. So we can use the dot operator to call the text method on this. And we want to set the text to list item. And as you can see here, it's changed them now. So that should be all we need to pass this task. So let's try that. Perfect.